All right, let's play a game of uh, Maokai, I mean tank top lane, right? It's very fun, very interactive. We're going to play against Gangplank, very fun and interactive as well. This game will consist of waiting until either one of the jungler arrives and then maybe something happens and maybe something does not happen. And then LeBlanc, who is only Diamond 2, but I mean just, I don't understand why she doesn't just try to climb to Master Tier. Because she has the stats for it, right? But at least, well, she's Diamond 2, but she has great stats. So, just consider it a Master Tier of Blank. And it's just too too much for these people to handle, right? Too much. So, yeah, this is probably going to be a matter of mid lane stomping their mid lane. Unless shit goes haywire and she has the first bad game in two weeks' time. And I'm talking about like a hundred games. Like she does not fuck up a lot. She is very, very, very consistent. I've played with her once before, and guess who I was? I was Maokai, you guessed it. And guess who she was? She was LeBlanc, you guessed it. And guess what happened? We won the game. Give me a run for my money. Alright, interesting gameplay. See, that's, that's, you know, that's why you don't level abilities before something happens on something like Maokai, where you have a snare and obviously the Bramble Smash if you want to just lane. So, yeah. And I, I mean, I know this game is not about me, right? If this was 1600 MMR, I want to snowball myself. I'm not going to pick Root. <clears throat> wow, she even knows the name of that guy? Wow, that's fucking creepy, dude. Alright, I don't really know how to play against Gangplank like this. Like, it's a pretty unique situation to have Brambles. Uh, what's it called? Twisted Advance Level 1, new W, right? So, I think I'm just gonna auto the minions and get Kleptoed on a few times. I don't think that's too bad of a strategy. Oh, he actually killed the minion. Oh, that's a greedy boy. I don't think that's what you do on Gangplank these days. With Klepto. Klepto Plank. Alright, 6 out of 6 CS on that guy. I gotta follow suit, you know. He didn't auto me with the... Oh, he didn't have it. If you don't have that... Oh, wow. That guy is fucking crisp on the timings, though. I think I missed the CS, right? Maybe not. Not sure. Alright. I have Bremble Smash now. And his barrels do absolutely nothing, so that's not a problem. Ah, look at that. That didn't even do the damage of an auto attack on level 1. It's trying to CS like that. It's like trying to CS with not even a noodle, something that's worse than a noodle. Okay, well. Just auto it. Like, it's, it's that simple. Like, I'm not even gonna bramble smash these guys because they wouldn't die to it. Okay, Fiddlesticks is doing his golems, I mean Crux. Here, this should kill him, yeah. At least it killed one of them. It's it's just, I'm trying to practice CSing on Maokai with that level 1 Q, because it's just awful, right? I shouldn't level my E on level 3, I think. Just for the purpose of CSing, right? That's a flash. Well, I didn't play that out just right. 
to be expected from a player like me. I'm, I'm not that crisp yet. I'm practicing. I'm, I'm getting slowly more crisp as we speak. Oh, she got killed! She got 1v1! What the fuck? What happened there? What the hell? I love that shit, dude. That's why League is always full of surprises, you know? You never know what's gonna happen next. The fucking 15 and 1, 16 and 1, those kind of scores, right? Every single game. Oh shit. He has a sheen, since I have even more gold than a sheen. This bitch Malfoy can run upon me, I'm gonna put my wand to the nigga. That's a cool TP, dude. Screw this, they got that guy. Alright. Maybe not exactly what we were hoping for here. With that kind of TP. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off me, mate. Alright. Expecto Patronum on a Drake. Uh. I don't know. I'm just improvising, dude. I don't give a shit. This bitch Malfoy can run upon me. I'm gonna put my wand to the nigga. Simple as that, dude. Oh, God. Please get this thing. Oh, man. This is taking way too fucking long. Fiddlesticks, Drake! Nandayo! That was interesting. This game is a lot more interactive than I thought it would be. Because the LeBlanc is actually struggling. So I'm interested to see how does she recover from a loss? Does she farm up? Does she take the Raptor camp? What does she do? You know? I, I'm really interested to see. Like, does she just go 0 and 2 now? That would be fun as fuck. Wow, she's really good. Holy shit, she's good. Holy fucking crap. That micro is just insane, dude. That's not even funny. Alright. That lost me a lot of health points. What? Did he just blow up and not connect? Alright, I'm only 10 CS behind. That's not a lot of CS to be behind after doing that TP play. Giving me two takedowns. And I mean, only two takedowns is not much, but... Uh, imagine what would have happened if I didn't come there. They would have gotten obliterated. Okay. I get it. I get it. It's gonna go haywire. Ah, shit. 
I got structurally outplayed. Oh. Oh, I would not do that. She's so good. Wow. It, it, it doesn't take effort, you know. That's why she's good. It's not good because she outplays somewhere or something. And it's like, whoa. It's because she just does it without effort. Like, it's like, oh, I W away from that ability. I Q him. I go back to my W as soon as he moves up here. It's like, you know. It takes no effort. What? Bard is on the way. I mean, I mean, I'm fine if they switch top, but I see this Caitlyn running up here. It's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not too sure if your Caitlyn is on board with this plan, you know? I understand the idea of swapping. I'm not sure if Caitlyn understands the idea of swapping. Okay, just put up some barrels. Boom, boom, boom. Kill the Maokai. Boom, boom, boom. They're, they're winning. They're not destroying them, but they're winning. Yeah. This bitch Malfoy can run upon me. I'ma put my wand to the nigga. Telegraph this. Oh man. Fuck. She's gonna be mad. Like, ferociously mad. Players that, that always do well and then do poorly for one game usually get mad as fuck. I hope she's the exception to the rule. Holy shit, this is scary. I do not want to fuck around with this guy. This guy's just good. He's a good player. He's not misplaying an I am. It's like that simple. It's like he, he, he times his barrels very, very well. Most gangplank players don't. It, it puts so much pressure on you all of a sudden to see a good gangplank player. Because you all of a sudden you have a champion that's pretty good and it, he's playing it really well, right? It's, 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 a, it's a struggle, you know? Okay, well that's let's not exaggerate here, alright? Okay, Boko is, 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 is just doing this camp. I don't, I'm not sure. Like, Boko is a good player, so maybe this is, I don't, I, I don't know what this is. It's like, if, if they want to swap, they should tell me, want to swap question mark? And then I will say, yes, very much, actually, because this guy is fucking me over, right? This guy's just completely screwing me. It's just very simple. I feel like in terms of composition, come here, you scoundrel, come back.
Be gone! Thoughts? Back to Patronum and the nigga. Holy shit, he's gonna put a sigil to the nigga. Oh, not me. Oh, the bunker. Killing the spree. Okay. <laughs> Just watching this guy play makes me sad about my own gameplay. It's like this guy's playing on easy mode or something, like... Just like... Everything moves slower for him, he, he just knows, like... How to play this game, and I don't... What? I, I, you can't be serious that we shouldn't be clearing this wave, like... I know she's a good player, but fuck off. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm pretty sure that pushing mid is a good idea right now. Come on. Give me some instructions, like, go bot lane. I think I, we shouldn't push mid. I just want to clear the wave and roam or something. Like, if that's true, then sure, right? What fucking elo is this, dude? Put my wound to the nigga. This is a game where other people put their ones to me, not the other way around, let's be honest. What? Put my wanted nigga. This bitch Malfoy gonna run up on me, eh? I will fuck him up. He got him. It's not easy. Not against this guy. What is what? She's rolling up behind the back, and I barely have time to look at the minimap because everything is staggering and jittering on my screen. Right. Some say that hurts your ability to then like quickly execute a command. Look at the minimap. Go back to executing commands. Right. Bitch. Plato plank, dude. Oh, not a third barrel. Man. Where did everyone go? Where did everyone go? I should probably move. I maybe flashed a little bit too soon, because I was a little bit scared. Oh, what the fuck is happening this game? What did LeBlanc do? I didn't see that, because I didn't look at the minimap at all. Like, I was just working out on my escape. I saw the board, Bart coming. Board. That's, that's literally it. Report Kindred for Rage Quit. I don't understand, this guy went 0-2 and, and still went 8-2 in like t t t 12 minutes time. Because she's just structurally outplaying these people in terms of mechanics. Ah shit, I'm dead. Ah oh, man. See, Distract Effect would have seen the echo coming and been like, Ooh, that's a lot of AP damage, I don't have any AP uh, magical resist. Smooth. Man, that auto attacking! Like this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a diamond to Caitlyn, but she's fucking it up. Pretty sure Boko is diamond two or one. What? She's platinum? What? Oh. No, what the hell is happening? I just I just heard some scarecrow noises and then 
all hell breaking loose while I look at something else for a second. Looking upstairs, looking behind. Damn, dude. It's not even fair anymore. The Jukery node. Yeah, let's, let's fuck off. Let's fuck off. She can get away. I'm pretty sure she can get away. Why not just take this first, right? Like, why why speed it up and just... Like, I, I'm not really sure. I think if he's at the blue buff, we might as well take the bottom side things first. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just go this. Oop. Oppa. I'm one and three in a completely one game, but I, I don't even care. It's like, I, ju I just got structurally outplayed by this Gangplant, who's only Diamond 4. Which makes you wonder, like, what the hell is this Master Tier, right? I'm not as good as I thought I was. And I'm, I'm sort of like, I was Plat 3 when I thought I was Diamond 4. And I'm slowly climbing up the ladder and, and just actually reaching Diamond 4 the legit way. Like the macro play understanding and micro play competence kind of way, right? That's kind of what ha what's happening here. It's me catching up with what I thought was my original elo. Champions that aren't broken, where you actually have to play well and 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 not fuck up the entire game. And that's just how it is. Oh, what that is a terrific. See, I don't even. Look at this, look at this fucking mechanics, like, it's, it's insane. I think they're not gonna go, Baron, they're just gonna try and end the game straight away. That movement speed is just fucked up. Yeah, my participation is not realize we can do Bart tunnel play, and then get stunned by our own Bart. That's not a stun, but you know what I mean. Yeah, well... What do you want me to do, eh? What have I done to deserve this? You come here to my home. Alright, well. This is fun and interesting. Oh, the LeBlanc is going back! The LeBlanc is going back! Let's go! Let's go back! Well, it seems like Kate's pretty fat too. Holy shit, that alt cooldown. He, he used it like, I guess 50 seconds ago, and I guess the cooldown's 50 seconds, right? Kind of figures. I feel like if I pop out this ultimate now, they're gonna lose both these turrets, right? It's kind of what I'm thinking. And I mean, I can't use any abilities proactively because I'm lagging like fuck. Ah, fucking hell. I'm gonna die to this fucking turret, am I not? Got him! I feel better about myself now. I'm a good player. I click W. Hey. Well, she said it at the start of the game. She, she kind of regretted playing LeBlanc because it would just make the game fucking one-sided. You know, her stomping everyone else. It's like Diamond One Kindred, <laughs> a Diamond One. What does that even mean? And it's literally like that. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, do I honor her? I mean, she's kind of an arrogant dickhead. I think I'm gonna honor the fiddle. No offense, though, right? You're allowed to be an arrogant dickhead if you if you go 20-0 every game. She went 0-1 and, and then, I think, 1-2 and, and still went 14-3. and She's structurally playing better, just dodging every ability she can hitting every ability she can, 
understanding the basics of macro play, so that's no problem either. Just looking at the respawn timers. It's not a complicated game. League is not a complicated game. But if you play correctly for 24 minutes and you just you, you get you have all these interactions going on and you play them all out perfectly, this is what happens. You just stomp everyone. And I can't do that, but she sure can. Alright, well that's it for this one. See you in the next one.